Hey, what's up, guys? I hope you enjoyed the first episode of my PG team. There will be more episodes with runes against speed and power, of course, and against double health and health power. I've been testing a lot this team, but you don't need to be cheated because I didn't even explain why my team is so strong as it is. And the secret, guys, is the gear. The gear is the secret of this team, guys. So in the next eight minutes, you're gonna see I explain every hero in my squad, why I put the gear on and how they work together and what's the point of this spirit team. Enjoy, guys. What's up, guys? Welcome to the team. It's Spiritus Meus, my spirit, and I have GEV inside of this team as well. I would like to explain you why this team is so powerful as it is because the gearing is very 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 important in the teams guys so let me go and show you against my normal team just to explain you the different kind of gears i have on so if we go to og Mew, my first account yes and now let's start out if we look at dragon malvaris as the first one you can see it's kind of has a lot of power and a lot of health. So what my plan is with this dragon is that he needs to be a power monster. So he needs to gain power every time the allies get hit. And of course be healthy as well. I have the two protectors in front, Spirit of Fates. They are both defenders. I got Ghost of the Spear in behind. So the flankers will flank in front instead of killing my Ghost of Spear and Grand Enchanter Vivienne. And then, of course, I got Grand Enchanter Vivienne to help out with the Curse Resist. So if we start with the Dragon Malvaris and look at the, the different kind of gear. In the top, we do have an Epic gear. He gains 7% health when a lie dies, plus 5% damage resist versus Blue Faction. That means Dragon Malvaris taking 5% damage less from Blue Faction. And you got a lot of hardcore Blue Faction, like... Ghost of the Spear, but he is stealth, so that, that doesn't count. You got Grand Enchanger Vivienne, you got all, a lot of mages, you got Magista Dorian, you got a lot of blue faction, which he helps 5%. The next one is Mercer's Crest, converts 3% of damage taken to power. That means every time an a AoE hitter hits the team, he will gain 3% damage of that so he will build up more and more power the third one is sheer staff he gains two percent power when an ally is hit so every time my allies are hit he will gain two percent power as well so you can see two percent and to convert three percent that's a lot of percentage if we take the last one defender code it's a, a common gear but it's very very good gives three percent health Gain 2% health when a lie is hit. So he heal himself as well every time he gets hit. So he is the main purpose to survive. If we take Ghost of the Spear, we have the Dagger. The Savage Tone gave 9% uh, double damage chance. That means he can crit 9% more. He get the same Defender Coat, 3% health, gain 2% health and on an ally hit. Then we got the rebound dagger and the reason I choose this one is because more likely to attack enemy with the lowest health. And if I go against like a soft team, a spirit of fate against Fen Harrell and Magista Dorian or yeah, Grand Enchanger Vivienne, he will go at that uh, hero first before he takes soft out. That's the purpose of this gear. So he will take the lower percentage of health. And as you know, spirit of health Spirit of Fate has a lot of health. The last one is the Arm of the Champion. I gave it to Ghost of the Spear because he hit one at a time. He gave 5% extra double damage chance, much more likely to attack quick round heroes. Rogue equipped 5% extra power. And since he is a rogue, he gets the 5% power. So that's beautiful, guys. And the other reason is he can attack quick rounded heroes. So he will, of course, go for the lowest percentage and much more likely to take the quick rounded, so the first one which is going quick. 
Let's go to Grand Enchanger Vivienne and Ghost of the Spear, of course. So the other one, the flankers will go and hit the front row. If we take GEV Grand Enchanger Vivienne, I gave her the warm up, converts 2% of damage taken by allies to health. So she getting a lot of health every time she get hit. She of course get the Grand Enchanter staff, plus 7% power, gains 5% health when allies hit. So you can see he converts 2% to health and gains 5% health when allies hit. Then we got the Mystic Blessing, 3% double damage chance, gain 5% health when hit. So already here we got a healing monster which healed herself. So that's pretty awesome. And the Mercy's Crest converts 3% of damage taken to power. So when she hit, she will hit pretty, pretty hard. If we take the front row, we got uh, two defenders. We got Spirit of Faith. This Spirit of Faith is legendary for in all her slots, both in power and health. And she of course got the Defender Goat, Coat, 3% health, gain 2% health when ally is hit, so she can heal herself while she's hitting before her turn. Gains 2% power and ally is hit. That means she will gain power and can heal the team more because she will gain power and the power is her healing. Then she got Strauss Tark, 7% health, 2% damage resist for allies. Strauss equip extra 5%. It's not a Strauss, so no 5% extra. So 2% damage resist for allies as pretty healthy and 7% health. Then we got the Suda Sapphire. 4% power for allies, 5% for healer allies. So the healers on the team, like the second sub, will gain 5% extra power. If we take my second sub, you can see the power is not in top. There is some tier 1 or 2 in the power right now. I'm waiting to myth her up in the power as well. Let's talk about the gear. We got the defender goat, coat, 3% health, gain 2% health when an ally is hit. We got the straw attack, we already talked about that. And then the hardwood shield, which was, was in a flash pack, cost 199. I was about to give this to Dolvega, but I was thinking, okay, I'm making a, a very hardcore team. So why not build this team 100% and make it as good as possible? So this shield give, uh, give my soft 15% extra absorb. absorb. Uh, damage for allies and plus give 400% damage resist per hit. So she is now 40% absorber as a defender. That's pretty cool. The last one is the Sudos Sapphire. 4% power for allies, 5% power for healers and allies. And this is the stats without any runes. And as you see, they are pretty, pretty hardcore. They can be better. My Dragon Marvel is still at work. My Ghost of the Spear is still at work and my Spirit of Fate. So three of the units are not maxed out yet. So guys, this is the end of the episode where I explain about my team. I hope you enjoyed this episode and looking forward for the next episode about this team. Remember to subscribe for more Heroes of Dragon Age. And remember guys to comment below so we can have some kind of discussion. Oops, almost ran down my hookah. Peace out.